Well, Ben, we've had that statement from the Commerce Department, um, which the tone of it was generally that Mr. Ross hadn't done anything illegal. It did not deny uh, that Mr. Ross did have this financial stake in the Navigator shipping company, which does a lot of business, as you said, with the Russian energy company Cyber. But it noted this statement that Cyber itself has never been sanctioned, even though we know its major shareholders have been. Uh, it's, it confirmed uh, that Mr. Ross had been uh, on the board of directors of the shipping company Navigator for two years, but it said he had never met the oligarchs in question, nor the Sun in law uh, of President Putin. Uh, and it also said uh, that Mr. Ross had recused himself from any transoceanic shipping issues, that he generally supported uh, sanctions against Russian entities, and that he was working closely uh, with ethics officials in the Commerce Department to uphold ethical standards. Um, having said all that, I think there will still be questions, though, about a potential conflict of interest, because, of course, Mr. Ross has a lot of influence on issues like sanctions and trade. And really, it just doesn't look very good in the current climate in Washington, which is completely caught up with this investigation into potential links between the Trump administration uh, and the Russians. And this looks to be one of the first uh, reported business links, even though an indirect one, between a member of the Trump administration and members of Mr. Putin's inner circle. All right, Barbara, thank you very much indeed.